Yeah, yeah. Alright. Episode 13, possibly, of Just Frickin' Drum Stew. Uh, today was not filmed in my usual studio, shall we call it. Instead, it was filmed at the college because for one of our projects, Project 3, we have to pick a song of our choice and change it or, you know, re record it and mix it ourselves. So we picked a Nirvana song, All Apologies, which turned out to be a really good choice because we had a piano as well as a violin player. We got put into groups and we ended up with a violinist in our group. So we thought it'd be really cool for the violin to have to do the vocal part. So we didn't, we took the vocals out and she did the vocals on her violin, if that makes sense. Uh, I think it makes sense, but yeah, yeah came out being really good um, we haven't finished mixing it yet so probably should have waited for it to be mixed before I posted this but when it when it is mixed I'll include it in a later video or something like that but it's just me jamming the song I thought I'd record it for the video um, I want to run through the mics I was using uh, because you can't really see them in the video so on the hi-hat I had quite a controversial hi-hat mic choice I think I was running the SM58 which is typically a vocal mic but not anymore <laughs> yeah I was using that for the hi-hat and it sounds really good actually uh, really good the snare I was using the SM57 typical kind of snare mic really good it sounded really nice thinking back I should have put it closer to the snare because we did lose a bit of sound because there was quite a big gap um, that was part partly my fault and partly not but anyway who's who's caring and then for the kick drum I was using a D112 which nowadays people technically typically use for their bass amps um, but back in the day it was massive for kick drums um, and it sounds really good it packs a massive punch and yeah I think that's definitely going to be my preferred kick drop mic from now on. Um, and then I didn't roll with any overhead mics because I don't, I can't be bothered to fuss with them and I don't like them and every time I've used them before when recording in that studio it always goes wrong or sounds too tinny. But I was using the ride cymbal quite a lot in that song so I added a singular SM57 mic to the ride itself. Uh, which was a great choice because the ride is typically quite a tinny symbol um, so the SM57 was really good at like not picking up those really high-end sounds um, but I was using those wooden brushes anyway um, you know the ones that they taped together so it was quite an acoustic song so I did I wasn't hitting the ride really hard anyway but yeah that, that was the mic setup that was all um, yeah Hopefully I'll see you in the next episode of Just Frickin' Drums, dude. Um, yeah, and I'll see you. Um, sorry if the audio was a bit weird. My hands kind of... I'm having to hold my phone. Uh, my hands might partially be over the speaker or whatever, but hopefully I'm also in frame because I can't see what I'm doing. But yeah, uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one, and hopefully you enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah, see ya. God bless.